All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we've got a new Goodwill listing that we're going to take a look at. This one is from Indiana. Welcome uh, to all my new subscribers. Shout out to all my subscribers. If you guys don't mind, comment, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to take a look at the cards here. I'm going to run through kind of quick so you guys can kind of see. Uh, a couple of the cards that kind of stood out to me was really this. This particular one here was uh, this one here. There's um, memory lapse from Mirage. Not worth anything, but it just kind of caught my eye just from from the set being an older set um i'm not really sure what this card is i haven't looked it up just kind of caught my eye did come from indiana forty dollars was the total on the lot uh we can take a look at the cards again uh the old uh box was kind of cool so all right let's um all right let's get into it and let's see what we got Top came off the box. Not sure what's what set this is from, but there's some some cool artwork. Oh, Gib Pack. Some cool artwork on that. Well, these, <laughs> these cards definitely uh, have some love to them. So we'll just tell you what we'll do. We'll just set that there and we'll just pull out from here and just pull a stack and kind of see what we can come up with. Oh, starting out pretty old. Fallen Empires. As always, we will scan these guys up and we'll, we'll see what we get. Acacian inf Infantry. This is one of the cards we saw on the listing. I wasn't sure what it was. It's also from Fallen Empire Empires. Pharaoh's Mantle. If target creature attacks and is not blocked, it may deal X plus 2 damage to any other target creature. Where X is the power of the creature, Pharaoh's manor, mantle enchants. If it does so, it deals no damage to opponent this turn. Feral Zealot. Alternate art on that. Got a duplicate on that. Yeah, it's the same. Mortar of the Frost. Combat Medic. Beautiful artwork on that. Homeridge Shaman. So we got a lot of fallen empires here. I 
Acacian Scout. Uh, it's some really cool artwork on that. Did see my, I don't know if you guys can see it, but all of this in the background is purple. The wings are pink. Um, the body is kind of this bluish tint. It's really cool looking. Surging Ether. Martyr of the Frost again. Icacian Scout. Sorry about that guys, I'm not sure what happened to my GoPro, but it decided to stop working there for a moment. Give me just a second here. Not sure what set this is from, Storm Elemental. It's from Cold Snap Theme Deck. Hmm. Viscera Deep Walker. Warrior. Frost Raptor. A darker wind form. Fairy trickery. Fledgling Malcor. It's a beast, looks like a well. Artwork wise. Vidalcan Dismisser. Task Force from Mask. So it's like it's going to be a common, uncommon box, which is okay. A lot of these cards, guys, I talk about it a lot, but a lot of these cards I've never seen, so it doesn't bother me a bit. Adder Staff Bogart. Got multiples of those. Lowland Oaf from Lorwyn. Tar Pitcher. Sacrifice Tap. Sacrifice a Goblin. Tar Pitcher deals two damage to target creature or player. Kind of cool. Trample. Cumulative Upkeep. Something you don't see a whole lot. Uh, you pay a red or green. And it gets plus one, plus one for each age counter on it. Battle Rampart. It's a wall. Target creature gains haste until end of turn. Man, this is, this is really good. I love haste in red. Got two of those. Hooded Kavu. Three of those. Bow Garden Rager. Ogre Gate Crasher. Atvara Scalper. Peel. Surging Ether, really cool looking artwork on that. Ripple 4, when you play this spell you may reveal the top 4 cards of your library. You may play any revealed cards with the same name 
as this spell without paying their mana cost. That'd be really, really good if when it's not real good in Commander, but oh, we got a brainstorm. See what this brainstorm from, I guess that would be that, yeah, from that theme deck. 62 cents, not bad. Induced Paranoia. Uh, another theme deck, Lumberjack. 45 cents. Aki Rock Speaker. We may actually get some hits out of this. That's some really cool artwork. Goblin Brigand attacks each turn. Whoa. Okay, this is the card I wasn't sure about. It's Empty the Warrens. Uh, three and a red, put two one one red goblin creature tokens into play, but it also has storm. When you play this spell, copy it for each spell played before it this turn. Forty nine cents. Missed folk. Brown wide crawl mancer. Rum Wine Crowmancer, pay one tap, counter target, activated ability. Play this ability only if you control four more snow permanents. So you could actually build around that and and um, stop, stop people playing in, any activated ability. And we get our purple. Guys, I apologize. My uh, camera... For some reason, today is is not working very well. Acacian Scout, Goblin Striker, It happens. Always, always plan for technical difficulties. 
because it will happen. Part of it. Shadow. This creature can block or and be. This creature can block or be blocked by only creatures with shadow. This is really good in a uh, Nijits, Nijitsu deck. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice it unless you pay one. But you wouldn't actually, well, you would play it unless you've got some way to give it haste. Uh, you would play this, wait until your next turn, attack with it, and then you would uh, Nijitsu something else in. Um, that, that would be one way to play it. Here's the memory lapse that I saw. Looks like he's got a uh, looks like he got a big old chew in his mouth. Got some chewing tobacco. If you look in his in his jaw there, <laughs> counter target spell. Put that spell on top of owner's library. I just I love the artwork. Again, it's it's Rebecca Rebecca Guy. I just I love her artwork. Um. Fair Light Priest, Fallen Empires again. Thermopod. A lot of cold snap in this. Maybe we will get, uh, maybe we'll be able to get some lands or, or get some cool stuff out of cold snap out of this. Instead of just commons and uncommons. Iceberg, this is one I haven't seen. Comes into play with X ice counters on it. Put an ice counter on Iceberg for three. Remove an ice counter from Iceberg, add one to your mana pool. That doesn't seem very good. Here's a sliver. All slit and a bunch of slivers. Not a bunch. That's 35 cents. Uh, actually, there is a bunch. 88 cents. That's that's pretty good. Two-headed sliver. We'll set all these slivers to the side. Cool looking uh, Kavu there. Artwork on it's really good. Pay one in a black, it gets plus one plus one till end of turn. Pay a green, it becomes the color of your choice until end of turn. One of the cool things about these older cards is you can pump these guys and there's no tap mechanic. So, that's one, one cool thing about that. We got three of those. I don't know if you guys noticed on my scanner, I've set everything, even my new stuff, I've, I've changed it uh, to light play on my, um, even the stuff that I I cracked new, I, I changed it to light play. And the reason that I did that is because it gives me... Oh, we got a hit. Uh, Gorilla Shaman, we'll talk about that in a minute. But I changed it to light play just because uh, if, if I do decide to sell something, it gives me... It gives me a better idea of, of what that card is worth and and what i'm what my collection is worth if you set by default it sets everything to mint 
um, so that's just something that I did uh, for in that and that's just for me and my own benefit but so let's take a look at gorilla shaman it says pay uh, X X one destroy target non-creature artifact with converted mana cost X so this guy stays on the board it's for one uh, that seems pretty good yeah that seems pretty good because he doesn't die the 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 gorilla shaman doesn't die he stays on the board yeah that seems pretty good hence why it's why it's got some value We are seeing a lot of duplicates, but that's, it looks like whoever whoever dropped this off at Goodwill they either bought packs or they they bought a lot of the same. It looks like, and that's. That's iconic. Iconic artwork there. Mob just a stronghold. Huh. Iconic artwork on that incinerate. Used to be one of my favorite cards. Also, just some, man, just some, some really good cards in this lot. Especially in red. Here's another uh, another pump. Very expensive, but creatures you control get plus one, plus O until end of turn. If this is the third time this ability has resolved this turn. Creatures you control gain first strike to end a turn, so it would take uh, nine mana to get there, but late game and in, in commander, it, you might get there. I love the green. Anytime goblins uh, are on a card and, and it has that green for goblins, it just, I like it. Orcish healer. All about to regenerate on that card. Hmm, the bird. The buzzard. Seems pretty good in a giant deck. Today is Sunday and I'm um, going to work tomorrow and they are calling for almost three inches of snow. So I don't know, don't know how that's going to work out, but we'll, we'll see how that, we'll see how that goes. You guys have snow where you're at? I know one of the guys lives in upper Michigan, so I'm sure he has tons of snow already well this grape shots wearing me out but right, I'm gonna move these over start us a new pile here flash freeze cool artwork counter target red or green spell 
artwork on it's really cool though. Got like one up, yep, one underneath it. Oh, Chaos Charm. I love the charms out of Mirage. Just in case you guys haven't seen, if, if you get a chance, look them up. The charms are really good. Choose one target creature is unaffected by summon sickness this turn, or it deals one damage to target creature or destroy target wall. For one, really good, really good card. Torch Drake. I noticed there wasn't a whole lot of white border cards in this slot, so I guess that was one of them there. Looks like we're coming up to a couple. Probably gonna be more like that that Drake there. Got some purple in this one. Uh, Ron on Serpent can attack unless you got uh, or defending player controls the snow land, which is probably not going to happen. So, probably not going to see a whole lot of play. Yeah, four cents. That makes total sense. Slipstream Serpent. Yeah, most of these are... Most of these cards are in that... Four to six... Uh, cent range which makes makes a lot of sense I know I'm saying sense a lot I need to stop that cool looking card illusion flying suspend four pay one of blue Four four flying. Broken ambitions. Hmm. Counter target spell unless his controller pays X. Clash with an opponent. You may have seen that one in another opening. Early frost. Hmm. Tap up to three target lands. Instant. Seems like a pretty good card. I'll set that down here. Seems pretty good. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. These white borders are, yeah. I'm not even gonna scan these guys. I know where they're, where they're sitting. No value there. This boomerang's a, a pretty good card if you're in blue. Return target permanent. Just because it's a permanent. Could be a land. Could be an artifact. Could be a creature. Could be an enchantment. Could be anything. Return it uh, to its owner's hand. Rock Jockey. Here's a uh, Samurai with Bushido 2. Uh, when this blocks or becomes blocked, it gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. And it attacks every turn if able. It's only a 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> but if it gets if, if it does get blocked, it gets plus 2, plus 2. So it's, it's going to be a 3-3 three, three if it gets blocked. Guy is Sky Folk. Got the purple again. That's, uh, man, that's, that's some really good artwork. I know it's blurry, but man, it's beautiful. Aether Flame Wall. Nasty. Flash, though. Kavu Scout. 
Hmm. There's those scred. I think that was used in a, a deck a while back and absolutely annihilated some people. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So the text reads, Scred deals damage to target creature equal to the number of snow permanents you control. Yeah, 78 cents. We'll put that down here. Thermopod. I mean, it's definitely jank, what I would consider jank. Just because most people are not running uh, a true snow-covered permanent land, anything. Uh, they're not building around that. Uh, so, we got more Kithkin. Man, Kithkins are here lately. We're seeing a lot of Kithkins. Wow. Card I haven't seen, I don't think. It says you gain two life for each creature target. Uh, you gain two life for each creature target player controls. So if your opponent is is running a uh, token deck and they're going wide or, or they just have a lot of creatures, that could be a lot of life. It's... It's quite, it's quite funny to me. Um, looking at these older cards and knowing how much they were back in the day, and now they're, you know, four cents, ten cents. That's just hilarious. Uh, Pious Warriors dealt combat damage. You gain that much life. That's that's kind of interesting. So it's also interesting. It's also interesting to me to see how the cards have changed. Like, you know, you go back five years, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years, and and you just see how cards were uh, powerful back in the day, and and now they're you look at them and you're like. Man, that's not even playable. Is that rare? Yeah. Finally got us a rare, and we got a foreign card. Not sure. Now we got multiple foreigns. Yeah, I know that's tranquility. All right, I'm gonna put the put the foreigns here. I don't. Well, it's Asian of some sort. Don't know what what language that is. Got more forms. Got the old creep tree folk. That card, man, is. Picking up on the artwork, I'm guessing, on these because they're all foreign. So I'll have to look these up later. And oh, I did actually pick that up. I'll set that over here too. It's another rare. Sorry about that.
Like this card here, Goblin Lookout. Uh, what is it, 31 cents? Used to be a one, two dollar card. Um, that, you know, now it's 30 cents. Either the demand is low, the supply is high. No, no one's playing it. I mean, something's changed uh, because the market's changed. So, it's just interesting to me. That guy's covered in something. Cool, cool artwork. And we already saw that the card, yeah. Well, no hits yet. Still looking though. Pick back up into the red again. Look, a lot of duplicates of what we've already seen, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. I know you, a lot of you watch my channel to see cards you, just like me, cards you haven't seen in a while or never seen. I want to get me a drink of coffee. As we say in Tennessee, wet the whistle. Cinder Cloud, Mirage. Destroy target creature. If a white creature is put into the graveyard this way, Cinder Cloud deals to that creature's controller an amount of damage equal to that creature's power. Check out the... Uh, Check out the illustration. It's all caps. That's it's kind of, and his name is Jock. J O C K. Jock. Kind of interesting. Oh, Mons Gob. Mons Gob. That's out of um, this particular one. Is looks like fifth edition. Oh, it's it says starter two thousand. And it's one cent. It's not worth money wise, not worth the paper it's print on. <laughs> so, kind of sad. Lore, lore broker. Hey, this, this would be a. If you're going for a, um, what some people call a, a group hug, you know, a politics kind of deck and commander, this would be not too bad. Uh, you tap, each player draws a card, and then discards a card. I mean, it kind of helps everybody. Yeah, 27 cents. I can see that. I don't even want to scan that. Essence Flare. That sounds familiar. Have we got a hit? Spell Sutter Sprite Flash, very good. Flying, very good. Uh, when the Sprite comes into play, counter target spell, spell with converted mana cost X or less, where X is the number of fairies you control. So, very uh, niche kind of deck, uh, but it could be one because this is a fairy. So, uh, where's, yeah, right here. All right. At least we got something over 
a dollar. The old whip sergeant. Yeah, I need I need this card. Uh, you pay one red target creature gains haste until the end of turn. I, I love I love this card. Gains haste. Ooh. All right, so don't know it probably will not scan my scanner normally does not work but this particular yeah I don't know if you can tell by the back but definitely I can tell and I don't know if you guys can see it but this fire breathing is from unlimited so I can tell just by the colors I've talked about it before but it's almost immediate if you've seen any revised cards uh in unlimited it's i mean it's night and day um the border the color border and the color inside here it's night and day difference the revised seems very faded whitewashed and this even even though this is played and it's got junk all over it is the color is is just there so we'll see if it scans it correctly uh, it shows alpha and that's what i was afraid of let's see if we can find unlimited in this list hey it did did find unlimited Yeah, only 23 cents, but that's a cool find. I'm going to set it over here. Try to do... <clears throat> try to do a land on a, another video on it. just would not work. I guess... <clears throat> because... Um, uh, that's a... That's cool artwork. I guess because there's so many uh, basic land versions, I uh, just couldn't couldn't find it. Pay uh, two and two blue. Look at the top five cards of your library and put one of them in your hand. Remove the rest from the game. That's kind of brutal, but I love the artwork. something from invasion this our work just blows me away on this solar set stuff if you paid the uh, the kickers three in a blue if you pay the kicker cost fairy squadron comes into play with two plus one plus one counters on it and has flying why would the fairy squadron not have flying they're fairies come on guys I'll move this this pile over. What I mean, why would fairies not have flying? Come on. Let me get another drink. Yeah, some of this stuff makes no sense. Makes sense from the game standpoint, but. Yeah, here's a good example. I'll, I'll show you in just a minute on this card. Because that flight is revised. <clears throat> Iron Wheel. Target creature gets plus old, plus four until end of turn, cycling two. Oh, here's. Yeah. Okay. There's another unlimited. Not pricey cards, but it's cool to see. Whoa. 
This is why I scan stuff, because I don't know the prices on these on all these cards. Locust Miser. Each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by two. It's a rat shaman. Hmm. Alright. Good deal. Burst of energy. And I don't look at I'll be honest with you guys, I don't look at every card because my my videos are so long anyway. If I looked at every card, we would be here a long time. Or if I read if I read every card. I already looked at that one. So I try to try to let you guys look while I'm scanning one and and go that go that way. Oh, we got Flash. Nice. And we got it out of Mirage. Yes. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, well, Flash is an instant. It says, choose a creature card from your hand and put that creature into play. As though it were just played. Pay the creature's casting cost, reduce by up to two if you cannot bury that creature. Uh, this card's banned, but I love it. I'm I'm guessing that it will become unbanned at some point. I could be wrong. Counterbalance enchantment. Really good card. And we got a hit finally. 1356. And is that yeah, out of code snap. We finally got it, guys. We finally actually got a real hit. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, you may reveal the top card of your library. If you do, counter that spell if it has the same converted mana cost as the revealed card. Nice. Finally got a hit. About time, right? Instead of this three cents and one cent and so what you do, you don't know man if if you've been watching my videos if you've been watching the other videos you'll know um you just you just don't know Guess you guys would like to actually see the cards, huh? Man, that's that's cool. It's it's so good. It's so good when um, when you it's uh, it's. <laughs> Trying to trying to get my words here. Prohibit. Kicker two counter target spell. If it's converted mana cost is two or less. If you pay the kicker, uh, then counter it if it's mana cost is four or less. Uh, it's so good. It's so good when you get that that bonus of, of getting a big hit like that. Because you go into these auctions, uh, you know, whether it's eBay or Goodwill or OfferUp or, you know, where, wherever you might, you might buy cards from. And if, if you're not seeing the cards, I love this. I love this card. I love this artwork. Um, you know, and you, you see the cards and <clears throat> you're like, okay, well, I'm going to pay X amount. And sometimes on an auction, you do, you know, you do get caught up in just it being an auction. And um, and you pay too much. But for the most part, or I, or I try to anyway, for the most part, I, I, I try to stay... I try to stay within that that realm and that that 
that box of I'm, I'm going to pay from this price to this price uh, based on what I know, you know, based on either the description that they've posted and the, the cards that I've seen. That's that's what I'm going to pay. And then when you when you get a, uh, I think this card's worth something. Yeah. Um, and then when you get a hit like that, you're just like, wow, okay. I mean, it's just the icing on the cake. It's just, it just blows you away. It's like, it's like Christmas in April, Christmas in July, man. It's, it's like that extra present that you, you didn't expect because it's more than what you expected and it just I don't know it excites you oh got another one here um, creature core rogue uh, shadow shadow so good uh, whenever it deals damage to an opponent draw a card then discard a card kind of good yeah, it's just so good. It's kind of like with the uh, Commander Legends right now. You know, if, if you if you buy a pack, if you buy a box, uh, you, you know, you go into it with the expectation that you're going to get X, Y, Z. Uh, if you look online, watch videos, watch other people opening boxes, packs, etc., you're expecting... X, Y, Z, A, B, C. And this is what most people get. Most people, I mean, even if you watch uh, Taco Tuesday Rudy, he's not seeing mana drains. Um, he's, he's just not seeing them. And <clears throat> a lot of people are seeing uh, the tutor, but a lot of people are not seeing the mana drains. So, if you if you open up a box and you you pack uh, crack that those packs and you get a mana drain, it's it's like it's like you've won the lottery because most people do not get that. So when I when I open these these uh, things from from Goodwill and, and I get and I get something like you know when I when I get this and this is a dollar this is a dollar. Um, you know, this is a dollar, two dollars, whatever, you know, and these are one, two, three dollars. And, and I get these rares that are 60 cents. You know, this is normal. This is what I expect. Or, or if I see cards that I know in, in the pictures that are going to be, you know, three, four, 15, 20 dollars, that's what I expect. But then, but then when I'm just going through and it's five cents, 10 cents, one cent, and then I get this card that's thirteen dollars that I had no clue was in this pack. Man, it's like Christmas, you know. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you can see it. I can see it here, but um, hopefully you can see it. This Death Ward, Fire Breathing, and Flight. Uh, let's take a look here. I don't know if you can see it in the wording, probably not. Maybe you can see it in the colors. Maybe you can see it in the, the artwork, in the colors. I think you can really see it. I don't know if you can see it in the white, but these two are unlimited. This is revised. And this flight is just, the artwork is just washed out. I mean, it's. It's just washed out, and these two are are not very, very clear artwork, very bold, and um, they're very easy to see. Maybe if I put them this way, they on my computer right now they kind of look the same. So maybe it comes through better online later. I don't know, um, but in person you can you can definitely see it. It's just something to to look at but this revised is washed out unlimited is not 
and that, and that's that's just very easy to see. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Oh man, I'm per that's nothing. I don't think. Visions cloud elemental. Hmm. Stop it. Damn. There's old Rebecca again. It's been a pretty good, it's been a, yeah, we know, we know what he is. Don't remember. Yeah. <clears throat> it's been a really good, good lot. It's been all over the board. A lot of red and blue, for sure. Not seeing, I don't think I've seen any green in this. Yeah, I don't think I've seen any green, which is kind of odd. Marcadia's Downfall. Attacking creatures get plus X plus so until the end of the turn. X is the number of non-basic lands defending player controls. This card's really beat up, but... Hey, 50 cents. I wish they still still did artwork in that just old old school style instead of this uh I know this is even ninth edition but in this new style I, I prefer that that old school style art more just me brown riff Out of flame, got purple again. Uh, one, uh, it's for sorcery. Add two red to your mana pool, then add one to your mana pool for each card named Rite of Flame. Not good for, um, not good for a commander really. Uh, it's showing 58, so it's probably used somewhere. I mean, I guess, I guess one for two isn't bad. Oh, this could be mean. At the end of your turn, sacrifice this creature unless it attacked this turn. So you could play that, I believe, unless, unless uh, the ruling says you can't, but it says in enchant creature. It doesn't say enchant creature you control. It says at the end of your your turn, sacrifice this creature. So uh, it may be just your creature, unless it attacked this turn. So I think you could play this on an opponent's creature for two, and they would uh, they would have to sacrifice it. Goblin spelunkers, mountain walk. I'm keeping this one. I'm, I'm working on a, uh, I'll put it down here. I'm working on a, uh, or I want to work on a, uh, a walker deck with a uh, land walk. That's going to be the theme. It's going to be land walk. Rain of embers. Volcanic Awakening. Hmm. Seems kind of mean. Destroy target land, and then it also has Storm for six. 
Fire Blast we've already looked at. And no, I'm not scanning all these cards. Uh, Flowstone Channeler. Two cents. Tempest Giant. 4-3 Giant. I'm telling you, man, a 4-3 Giant back in the day for four was balling. And now it's it's just nothing. I mean, it's, it's useless. It's useless. It's crazy. Soul Charmer. Remember, it deals combat damage to a creature. You gain two life unless that creature's controller pays two. Interesting. Life link with a... Uh, Life link with, with that uh, add-on that the, its controller can uh, pay too. Interesting. Got purple and white this time. Flying elemental. It's a rare. Uh, when it leaves play, return up to two target creature cards. With power two or less from your graveyard to play and it also has evoke uh, you may put uh, for five and white you may play this spell for its evoke cost if you do it's sacrifice uh, it's sacrificed when it comes into play yeah I thought that might be a hit angels grace split second these cards are so good. I want to read this because there's not a whole lot of split second cards out there. But in Commander, uh, if you can fit them in, fit them in. Split second, as long as this spell is on the stack. Players can't play spells or activated abilities that aren't mana abilities. You can't lose the game this turn and your opponents can't win the game this turn. Till the end of turn, damage that would reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one instead. This is a baller card. This is a bomb. Especially for white. If you're playing white for one mana, I mean, they're about to kill you. Um, just play this and you can't lose the game. I mean, it's, um, and, and the cool thing is somebody might say, well, um, maybe somebody would play that commander legends card that they can tap and just end the turn. No split second says, as long as this is on the stack, players can't play spells or, activated abilities and that uh, tap mechanic with that new commander legends card is an activated ability because they have to tap to do it this man this is a beast of a card yeah and that's why it's seventeen dollars and seventy five cents man another hit oh, where's my where's my sleeves yeah, that's why this card is... And like I said, I'm doing light play on my stuff, which this is light play. I mean, it's, it's used, no doubt. That's why this card is eight... That's why this card is $18. It will, it will save the game for you. I'm telling you. Put it in your deck. If you're playing white, I'm, just put it in there. Make it part of every white deck you have. Take this card, put it, put it in your binder, make a proxy card. Put it in every white deck you have. If you only have one, get one copy. Buy one copy. Make a proxy for every deck you have. Buy it. Get it. It's it's a must-have. I'm, I'm telling you. <clears throat> More Kithkins, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you. Maybe I need to make a Kithkin deck. Come on, scan that up, man. What What are you thinking? I got so excited, I've totally messed everything up over here. Let's 
surge of and then we'll backtrack a little and we will make this foil and so we'll come up. okay there's 27 cents dude man that's awesome so we got this card and we got counterbalance. I guess I need to sleeve that one too, don't I? Yeah, let me sleeve that one too. Since I got my sleeves out. Dude, that's awesome. I'm so blessed. So, so blessed. That's awesome. I'm going to set these two right here. Move these down. Put those guys right there. So blessed, guys. So blessed to get stuff like that. Oh, that's kind of neat. Here's another split second. <clears throat> Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Split second. Still good. Not not as good as that white one though. Moonfolk Wizard. Snap back. Look at that. More Kithkin. Come on. All right, we're making a you guys need to help me. I'm making a Kithkin deck. That's all there is to it. All I have is what I have. Obviously, right? That's all. That's all anybody has is what they have. No, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go out and uh, buy more, uh, except for what I what I get on these lots. Uh, if you if you've hey this might be something here if you guys have watched my videos then then you know what i have or i'll if you've not watched them then I, i'll i'll go back and uh look at what i've got and and we'll go from there but yeah i'm making a kithkin deck so if you're watching this and you got any ideas shoot them over to me uh let me know let me know what what i need for a kithkin deck Wow. Holy cow. Two and two white. It's a three three. Whenever you're attacked, if Reviel or Ravel squad is untapped, you may untap all creatures you control to block. Holy smokes. That is powerful. Putting that down here. That's powerful. Another charm. Another chaos charm. Man, this... <clears throat> there's been some really good cards in this. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That sliver's really good. I don't know if you guys... I might have moved it too fast it's fury sl sliver all slivers have double strike flames of the blood hand it deals four damage to target player that damage can't be prevented if that player would gain life this turn gains no life instead it's an instant the four damage is is i mean it's it's decent but the gain life where they can't gain life that's that can be crippling uh, on these life gain decks. 5-4 Echo, Elemental. 
Rain of Embers, we already looked at. Thick Skin Goblin. Uh, this is really good because it lets you pay zero rather than pay the echo cost for permanents you control. And it gains protection from red until end of turn for one red. All right, we are down. This is the last bundle. Last bundle, coffee time. Hashtag coffee time. Not magic related, but if you drink coffee, uh, <clears throat> leave down in the comments what your favorite coffee is. Inquiring minds want to know. And I would be the inquiring minds. What I'm drinking right now is um, I like cold bean coffee. And that's what I like to use, but I will drink anything. Oh, I got another unlimited hanging out back here. But I like um, what I'm drinking right now is um, White Monkey. Oh, it's just another fire breathing. Well, he liked red, whatever this was red and white and blue. I'll really check these guys out. Not wind glider flying protection from black. Moon snag fish liver oil. Oh, are you serious right now? Are you guys serious? Unlimited animate artifact. Are you kidding me? What? Are you serious? It's got a line right here. I mean, it's been played and unsleeved. Are you serious? Well, I saw it on the list. I don't really care. It's 55 cents, but I don't really care. I can't, I can't believe it. 55 cents. Unlimited, man. I don't know if you guys even read the text. Anyway, it says target artifact is now a creature with both power and toughness equal to its casting cost. Target retains all its original abilities as well. This will destroy target, uh, or this will destroy artifacts with zero casting cost. Man, what a box, guys. People are like, <clears throat> Why are you excited over a 55 cent card? Because, for one, I don't have it. For two, it's unlimited. It's over 20 years old. For three, it's just cool. Yeah, no, I don't think so there. Ghost Rider. Fury Sliver again. Gorilla Tactics. Deals two damage. Two damage. Two target creature or player. When a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard this. Uh, Gorilla Tactics deals four damage to target creature or player. No dashi, no dashi. <laughs> That's just fun to say. No dashi. 
Two arms with your no dashi. 78 cents. Again, untapping all creatures you control when you draw a card uh, for one and a white. I mean, really? Baller card, man. Double call, O ring. Not worth anything. Nothing big, anyway. Uh, Blade Master, Fox Samurai, first strike Bushido one. When it blocks or becomes blocks, it gets plus one plus one. What does the fox say? The fox says he's a Blade Master and he has Bushido one. Human Samurai on a eagle, no a moth. He's on a moth. Flying Bushido one. And we got the oaf. Caterwall and Bogart. Each goblin you control can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Each elemental you control can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Interesting. It's an interesting card. Oh, that's cool. Blades of Velis Vale. More purple, guys. Changeling. Up to two target creatures each get plus two, plus oh, and gains all creature types. Uh, this would be good for uh, the pirate decks that people are trying to build right now. Sure would. Because you could put stuff in there that is not a pirate, that makes it a pirate. Two two creatures. And try to become the count there. But two creatures could become pirates temporarily. Interesting. Uh-oh. Napping the goats. Getting the hoot nannies here. When goat napper comes into play, untap target goat and gain control of it until end of turn. Dude, seriously? Who who wants who wants to gain control of a goat? Come on. I mean really? Is this like a meme card or something? But I mean that goat is kinda cute though. I mean let's give it that. Got more Kithkins. Hurley Burly. Does one damage to each creature without flying? Or uh, one damage to each creature with flying. Hmm. Stink drinker dare... Man, we're getting into some meme cards here. Wow. Giant spells you play cost two less to play. That might be good in a giant deck. Giants deck. Pestermite. That seemed like that was in a rose deck or a fairy deck. Uh, a couple years ago, I heard people talking about Pestermite. Flash flying, when Pestermite comes into play, you may tap or untap target permanent. That seems really good. Yeah, 42 cents. It's, it's still up there a little bit for a common. Flying put uh, click on top of its owner library for one blue. We got a couple of them. Glen, uh, Sentinels of Glen Alundra. Some fairies here. Bone splitter, sp bone splitter, sliver. It's hard to say. Human wizard, cumulative upkeep of two. Tap, draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on top of your library. This worked really good with uh, Sensei's Divining Top. Possibly. I uh, got more Kithkins. Man. This is rare. Got a couple of rares back to back here. Putting that down here from my Kithkin deck that I'm, you guys are going to help me build. Uh, got a commander here, actually. Um, Bridget, hero of Kinsbell, deals 
2 damage to each attacking or blocking creature target player controls. That could be really good. Who knows, that might be my commander from my Kithkin deck. Frost, Frost, Frost. All right, guys. That is it. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. So these two were the big hits. Uh, we've got, uh, I think that is unglued. Word to your mother. Um, got, got four uh, foreign cards. Uh, we've got several one two dollar cards. Got uh, it's revised there, but we got several unlimited cards. Got some slivers, which is cool. A lot of duplicates, obviously, but that's cool. And we are, I think going to work on a Kithkin deck we got a commander now so then we're going to work on that so just I mean this has been a great uh, what did we end up on the total looks like uh, so our total was 116 uh, so the lot was 41 uh, I didn't look to see what the shipping handling tax and all that was but it's typically about uh, about twelve dollars shipping and handling fees is is kind of the typical, and then tax on top of that. So it's probably about I'm guessing it was about fifty to fifty five dollars total uh, for that. So we we doubled our money. So that's always good. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate it. As always, um, be safe and and enjoy magic. Talk to you soon.